Okay, so today we're going to take a look at Virtual Pool Hall, which is a combination of the first two, Virtual Pool and Virtual Snooker. Okay, so set the user, that's me, and then we've got the, uh, the table, uh, no background, uh, you can have a, the background there if you go into options. Um, you can actually go into the game options and set the background and hey presto you've got the a background there something to look at um, which doesn't really make any difference to the game it's just the fact that if you haven't got the background on you can concentrate a bit more on the table so without any further ado let's take a look let's go to new game and we've got all these options Wow, um, we're spoiled for choice here because we've got all these different variations of, of pool. We've also got snooker, um, and other variations with different official rules. Uh, this is running on Windows 10 at the moment, so there's a very small bar at the bottom here, which gives you the angle, the Q angle, and the shot timer. Uh, unfortunately we won't be able to see that because it's running on a on a laptop um, but anyway so another player remote player computer player okay um, we're going to play pool um, so we'll stay on the championship pool table and we'll have a game of nine ball um, and then obviously you can adjust all the table properties you can go on to amateur, pro, and championship. Right, I'm going to leave that on amateur for the moment. There's the shot clock, we don't need that. Uh, goals per match, so you can sort of modify this to your liking. I'm going to choose one just for the demonstration. Um, we'll be taking a look at the snooker part another day, uh, revisiting virtual pool hall. Uh, click on new game. And then we've got a, a wide array of uh, opponents, right? With some of the names are quite funny. Um, Dead Eye Dan, right? The further down you go, it seems like the better they get. All these different fields. Um, draw, very good, uh, as you can see here. Um, long shots, short play, short shots, banking, carom. Uh, Massé, um, when you as you say when you put an effect on the ball, right? Uh, you can actually jump the ball, right? If you want to, um, and then we've got the mental profile, right? Current state, like a rock. Choke, ice, water in veins. Distraction, oblivious. Caution, a Republican. So that's just a little bit of humour there, right? Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to choose an opponent willy-nilly, randomly. Uh, what's he like? He's quite poor. I should be able to beat him. Um, let's take an, op an opponent that's a bit better. Average. Gary Hoppins, whoever he might be. Okay, so let's go into it. So Gary to break. Um, and he makes a few balls off the first shot three balls gone in right four ball next misses it so nine balls really sort of quick and dynamic because you can actually win by hitting the lowest number on the table <clears throat> you can actually win by playing a, a plant onto the nine so we've got this view from the top, right? We've also got the overhead view, which means I can I can move that in real time. Do you know what I mean? It's like, that's quite handy. Normally I use that one, normally. You wanna go back to the original state. With the press of a key, you go back to the queue. You can also adjust your view. Um, so let's take a look at it from the top. So that's like four, five. The five is on the other side. So let's try and just keep position well, pocket the ball, which is the the uh, the most important part. 
right we've put it you can also have a sort of replay which is pretty amazing you can change the speed of the replays although I never seem to change them I just leave them on the default setting you can always jump to the next shot so that means if you're playing an opponent and you just want to see the result of his shot you can just press a key and then it sort of advances it saves a lot of time you don't have to wait right so really that's uh, I've got position on the on the five ball. I'm gonna go for the six ball, which is at the top there. Uh, seven is down, so it'll be the eight after that one. So I'm gonna have to cut this into the middle pocket. I would imagine. You know, you can also take your viewpoint there and you can place that in the centre of the object ball, and you know exactly what you're doing. Um, so that's quite handy. came up short I should have hit it a bit harder right we're going to try and double this into the middle missed it that was a mess what happened there miscalculated it was too wide cannoned into the nine um, leaving it open see if Gary pockets this well he didn't bother so it's a really tight cut if you look at that from the top it's not going to be easy but anyway we'll give it a shot see what happens right whacked it in and there's no skill involved in that i mean that was just sort of pure luck um and I ended up, I actually ended up on the on the eight ball, and that just leaves a nine ball into that corner, and that's it really. So, don't count your chickens before they hatch. Let's just drop this in lightly, leaving a bit of an angle on the nine, and then we can get a good top view of that. The pockets are quite wide, so hopefully I'll make this into the corner pocket. And in it goes. So there you go, Virtual Pool Hall. What an incredible game. And the graphics are like, you know, retro graphics, the way I like them. Um, you've got a few options in the menu at the top. Um, you can do push outs like they do in real life. The physics are great, absolutely second to none. Um, and that's about it, really quite an old game on a modern system but it works so that's all for today and uh, if you like the video give it give us a thumbs up if you want to run the game and you've got any compatibility issues feel free to leave a message um, and I'll see you next time